Hey, and welcome back. This is Jeremy, and today we're going to get into repetition. So, what's repetition? Well, it's also known as iterations or looping. And probably looping is probably be about the best because ever other programming languages you might get into will probably just call it looping for the most part. So, what this does is allows us to create statements or group of statements that will just keep repeating. So. There's two different types of loops. There's uh, count controlled and um, event controlled loops. For account controlled, um, the loop will execute for a certain number of times. So say like we want this loop to perform 25 times and then it will stop. With your event control, um, the loop will continue until a certain signal has um, happened. So we'll try to get into some of those. Probably the first one we'll probably work with is going to be the while loop. So for the while loop, um, the structure of it is really not that hard. So let me go ahead, let's get this started. Java project, let me call this um, while loop. All right, finish. And there's a new class. Again, what does it call while loop? That's fine what we call it while loop we're gonna check this box right here public static void main so we don't have to type it anymore again we're gonna put this in main method okay no that's not right this is our class header not main method I knew something would look weird that is our main method All right, so the structure of a while loop would be while some condition, so in the ITI one, condition, do something, basically. All right, so I mean, that's, that's the basic structure. So basically what it is, while the condition is true, the statement will ex execute over and over again. So what the while loop actually is, it's a, uh, a pretest loop, which means that it will test the value before it will actually run. So I'm going to put a little comment up here. We'll call this a pre. I think, I think it's one word. Pretest loop. Okay. So we could do a very simple like countdown type thing, right? So we'll create a an int called count and we'll set it to ten. All right. So while, uh, let's see, count is greater than or equal, oops, greater than or equal to 10, we'll do a, just a simple system out, oops, come on bears, let's, let's do this, there we go, much better. We'll do count. So every time this thing will go through, we'll do a count. And you're probably thinking, well, how will well, this probably just keep running forever because a 10 will always be greater than or equal to 10. Well, what we're going to do is, is we're going to subtract. So we're going to do count equals count minus 1. So every time this loops will go through, it'll be 10 here. It'll come down, it'll be 10. 10, so I mean 10 here, and then 1 minus from 10 would be 9, 9 we start here, so it's 9 a lot greater than or equal to, well, not 10, it'd be 0, my bad. 0, yes it is, we'll run through again, become 8, 8 will go through, is 8 greater than or equal to 0, yes it is, 8 here, minus 1 would be 7, they'll keep going through, and then we could have, on the outside of this loop, we could say, like blast off or something, like a countdown system. Let's see, we'll say, uh, blast off. Alright, so that looks good. This should run. It'll probably go real fast, too. I think it did. Oops, that's... Here's my output. Come here, you. There we go. Let's run this again. Yeah, so I mean, it's quick. You know, it goes 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, blast off. 
So what did, like I said, what it did, it just took the 10. Is 10 uh, greater, than, greater than 0? Yes, it is. It brings, you know, prints 10, puts 10 here, subtracts 1 from 10, now it's 9, and just keeps going through. That's a really simple while loop. I mean, really, really simple. Wasn't hard at all. Um, another one we could do, let's do another one just to get a little more practice to it. All right, let's do... Let's see, let's try to think one on top of my head. Let's get rid of all of this. Okay, so we're going to um, say hotel room rate or whatever. So we could say, let's do this. Let's make it just a little simple program. So import java.util.scanner. Okay, scanner kb equals new scanner. I don't know why I've always pressed capital C. Ah, and did again, capital C's. System in. Okay, so we're gonna have uh, an int f four days. Like, how many days did you stay? All days. And I'm going to initialize this to zero just to avoid any potential problems. Okay, so we're going to say, we're going to ask a question like, how, how many days did you stay? Did you, oops, did you, not toy. So we get that, get that through there. So we can say while um, days is not equal to zero. So there's really no point in doing this. If it, I mean, if they didn't stay at all, there's no point in running this. But we could say in here, that's, um, hmm, I'm going to do this. We could say, we could declare another variable in here called room fee equals uh, days times about ninety dollars. All right, we're, well, we're gonna have to cast this as a double. I think it's this way. No, there's a way we could cast this. Let's see. Actually, we won't do that. We'll just we'll just do it as an if right now. We'll worry, we'll worry about casting some other day. <laughs> we don't make this video too long. So we get that that that, and we'll just print out. Uh, your room charges room B. And that should, I think that should work. All right. So as for the days, we get the days, the logs of days not equal to zero. We'll take the days times 90. Actually, we'll do this with a dollar sign right there. That should work. Let's see, how many, how many days did you say? We'll just say one. Oh, look at that, we have an infinite loop. All right, so to fix this, what we're going to do is, is we're gonna ask the same question again inside this loop. Control, copy. And then, We'll put another little condition in here. We could say, or zero to exit. That's an infinite loop. It just keeps going and going and going. I mean, it. I mean, I have so much RAM in this computer. It'll run forever. So we'll just hit this little red X right here. Just terminate. That red X, right? Red square. We'll run this again. How many times did you stay? We'll say one. And it says my room charge is ninety dollars. How many days do you stay? Or press zero to exit. So we're just going to press zero, and it should be, and it stops the uh, the program. So I was actually going to cover this in a later video, but we'll cover you now. Infinite loops, they suck. 
what happens is I didn't give it away to stop this while loop. So without having this here, it just keeps going and going and going and going because it doesn't know what to do. It doesn't know how to leave this loop. So let's test it one more time. Let's give it another number. Let's give it like three, oh, three, two, two hundred dollars and zero to exit. So that's a while loop. So the next one we'll probably cover will be the, um, do, 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 do. let's see, um, I think the do while. Yeah, we'll do the do while next. All right. Um, this is just a simple, quick way to enter introduction to while loops. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you hit uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Any questions? them down there. I'll do my best to answer the ones that I can. Until then, you guys have a great day. We'll see you. Peace.